Hello everybody, this is 60% Cat. Today I'm going to talk about how to do uh, tarot readings. The tarot, as they say. Now the first thing you might think to in order to read tarot is, okay, I gotta go get one of those books or go on the internet or something and uh, learn what every single card means. And I'm telling you, no. You don't have to do that. No way, Jose. First step to learning to do tarot is trusting your imagination. And that's really the first and only step you really need to get going and do some tarot readings. I would actually suggest not learning the meaning of the cards because you can th then build your own associations, which probably are going to be more relevant and more particular to you. Now what's going on with tarot or any other kind of divination? We say these are for quote unquote telling the future. But uh, you know it doesn't always have to be like that. Um, in fact it's usually just information being conveyed. But what's really going on here? How is this working? What I think is that tarot is really almost just an excuse it's almost like a vehicle for your own intuitions to come up with information for somebody else now you could even define intuitions as the subconscious if you don't want to believe in, in t th that kind of stuff so if anything your subconscious picks up on certain things they say that your conscious is only maybe like 10 percent and your subconscious is 90 percent there's all this information whizzing by you and and part of your mind is taking track of every single other bit and coming up with conclusions about that information so tarot is kind of a way to ta allow that subconscious information to c come through so when you're giving somebody a reading pulling out some cards they're on that side you're on this side and you're, you just start looking at the, a card. Now what happens to me when I do readings is uh, I usually just start talking because I can't I can't just look at these images and suddenly there's this huge exposition that exists. What really happens is I just start talking and my mind is creating associations and I'm just trusting those associations and speaking them. And for some reason, that applies. It applies to people. People get information that's relevant to them. And you can say that almost they're doing the same thing. You're taking, you're using uh, something, a medium, to pull out subconscious information and they are taking that information, filtering it, th utilizing their subconscious, and creating conscious information for themselves. So you could say you do this with tarot cards, but you also do it every day. You're doing it when you're reading somebody's gestures or something. Maybe their behavior in some area. You're inferencing a conclusion from their subtle behaviors, all their, everything combined, all the little, um, non-verbals you're coming with oh they're uncomfortable because they're touching their hands they're looking away it's basically the same process so next time you want to do tarot cards or give somebody a reading just trust yourself trust your imagination trust everything that kind of comes out wayward and just kind of kind of say what's on your mind and you'd be surprised at how it connects to others 